sixty percent of everything. everything. You can do this. <sighs> okay. Just build the death machine again. Build it. Or like uh, load it. Load it. What was the L the death machine? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Alright. So we'll finish this one off then, I guess. We'll uh You got this. We'll uh get the uh put some wheels with uh uh swords on them. Do some spin rounds. <laughs> some spin spins? Yeah. Do you get me a ginger beer? Where are they? They're in the fridge. Oh yeah. Give you goddamn cock boy. They're in the fridge. Do you still follow Steve Rogenba? You still? No, I got tired of his shtick. He doesn't do enough poetry now. And he talks about veganism too much. And you know, that's not me. What what you're about? That ain't me, son. That ain't me. Yeah. I ain't no rockin' buck, son. You got no... Doesn't that sound like a... I don't know, racist, but isn't it like a bit, uh... It was a war song. It's a war song. But it's like really a war song, like... What? You know, like... We're gonna go fight the yellow-eyed man, or whatever, you know? I think that's a racist song. No, 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 just song. Yeah. That is the song. That is... That's... It, I don't... Well, like, I feel it's done with... It's... Creedence Clearwater Revival. I feel like they were anti-war. I think they were pro-war. I don't think anyone's pro-war. I think Creedence Clearwater Revival were pro-war, man. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. I know them, man. They're cool, man. They're good friends of mine. Did I tell you about my plan to start telling people that Pierce Brosnan is my friend? <laughs> you didn't. But I'm interested. I'm just going to start telling people that Pierce Brosnan is my friend. That's the whole thing. Yeah, not in a name droppy way. Just be like I was hanging out with my friend Pierce. Uh, right, because no one else is named Pierce. Is that the, is no, the but then like eventually they'll be like, you talk about this guy Pierce all the time. What's his deal? I was like, oh, you know Pierce. Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> you know, played... played uh... He was, um, uh, Jimmy Bond. Jimmy... You're like, oh my god, this. Man, that smells an awful lot like Red Bull. That's because Bull, unless they sponsor us. I just cannot destroy enough of this. Nope. Because there's also all these buildings and these little peoples. Oh, so they, they give me points as well. It said 60% of everything, not castle. Well, I don't know. That's why I said chuck some wheels and swords on it. Do you know what I'm going to do? You're going you're gonna to bloody love this. Is it wheels and swords? It's, uh... The flamethrowers? Flamethrowers? Uh, okay. If you just drive into the middle of the town after you've launched your thing, and then have flamethrowers on the side, then you just burn everything down. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's not whoa, what I want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see uh, famous Australian persona Bert Newton is now the narrator in the comeback of the Rocky Horror Picture Show? No. Wait, comeback of the Rocky Horror Picture Show? You know, we went and saw the Rocky Horror Picture Show in its last theatre season. Yeah. It's back. Yeah. And uh, Wayne Newton is um, the narrator now. Not Wayne Newton, Bert Newton. Which one is he? Do you know he used to have the show on Channel 10 in the mornings? Big fat guy? No. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I, know, I, okay, I know, I know, I know Bert Newton. I'm not saying I don't oh, know Oh, he's Bert your Newton. friend? <laughs> Look, me and my mate Pierce, and Bert, all three of us, we go way back. LJ. He was the one who had that son who, like, slapped his pregnant wife in a car park. <laughs> what? You don't remember that? The son that was on, uh, Underbelly? Television show Underbelly? Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who that is. You should. 
What are these guys? Oh, they're, yeah. They just they just run around and they blow. Isn't they get it done. They run around. They get it done. Hey! Done. Island, Island destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> I've killed everyone. Even conquering. I've killed everyone. You're just fucking shit up. And the next island. I, just, I literally destroyed the island. Wow, well, the ocean's on fire. That's what pollution will do. That'll get you. All right. So next time we play, we'll be playing uh, Tolbrind. We're doing Tolbrind next. When does the moon open up? The moon? I think you can go to the moon now. You can? It's, oh, uh, wait, no. No, the moon's under construction. <laughs> but you can go to Space Cube. <laughs> I love Space Cube. Which is just a sandbox and you can make anything you want. Yeah. Alright, next time on Besiege, we go to Tall Man Island. <laughs> it's not called Tall Man Island. It's I called Tolbrind. Tolbrind. I don't know. It's called Rainy Place. No, are those bats? They're no, giant birds. No, damn them. Uh, here. Uh. <laughs> The uh, that that's a flying ship. Oh shit! Yeah, these guys have besiege too. Besiege has besiege. Besiege the people in besiege have besiege. Yeah, I hadn't seen any complex machinery yet. I could not believe it. I cannot. I am not believing it. You. Yeah. All right. Next time. See you then. Tall Man <laughs> Island. Tall Man Island. On besiege. On besiege. Besiege. Besiege.